Hello and welcome to another adventure of Bricks in the Wild. I'm Brickologist Carl coming to you from the Lego Den. As with the name Bricks in the Wild, that's what our episode is going to be about today. Finding used Lego online and pouncing on it and getting it in your hands. And I will show the set I got here in a minute. So the story is, is I was on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, how I search in the parameters is I put Lego in Facebook Marketplace and then I put local. I want to try to find sets or pieces that are within maybe a half an hour to 45 minutes. I want to see what uh, I'm getting. And I also want to pay cash because it, uh, it makes everybody happy that if I have the set and I'm happy with it and the person wants cash. Now there are times when you do that that they don't want to meet face to face. It can be a porch pickup. But in this case the person actually um, invited me into their house and I got to see what they had. Okay. So let's go into uh, what set I got and I'll discuss that some more. So here's the box and it came with the box instructions. So the set was complete. So as you can see, this is pretty cool. Uh, I don't normally uh, go after this type of set. I'm usually going for Star Wars, um, Technic sets, uh, or classic space, stuff from the 70s or 80s. Uh, but when I found this on um, Facebook Marketplace, it was a real good deal. And I'll discuss um, the price and what the price uh, is on uh, BrickLink. But like I said, I normally don't buy these um, city or uh, the modular, uh, creative modular sets. So like I said, it came with the box in great shape, as you can see. Looks like they just opened it up. No dings, nice and clean, no stains, no water damage. Okay put that over here so that's the box and here is the set <clears throat> complete sometimes people will disassemble it for you but so here it is Let me back just a little bit for you there so it is set 10243 Parisian restaurant uh, creative expert and this set was released in 2014 and it was retired in 2019. Comes with five minifigures and the retail price was $159.99. 2,449 pieces. And looking on BrickLink, the going value for this set box, um, complete with pieces. Um, they actually, and this is surprising as you get, is I got the leftover pieces, which was kind of nice, and three uh, nice manuals. So I got the manuals to it too. So if I want to break it down, like I said, you can, you can live without the manuals. You can find the building instructions online, but to me that completes the set. So 100% complete, even with the extra pieces. Uh, the person that had it, um, it was a one-time deal. They did not have any more Lego. Um, I went to his house. He let me in. And he had the set waiting to go for me to pick up. Box, complete set, manual, minifigures. That completes the set. Okay, so let's take a look at this wonderful set. Very cool. Like I said, I don't normally go for these, um, but I don't know. It, 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 very cool with the modular and, you know, there's just so many of these out there now. This is the uh, test set they did um, of 17, and I think there's another one coming out next year. But this was the 10th set that they released, uh, remember, 2014. And what's cool about it is it's a little... Parisian cafe restaurant type deal and um, if you're not familiar with these sets um, they do come apart uh, so as you can see here you can get inside so I'm going to take the top roof off here and then there's a center section and we'll discuss what we we have here 
So there's the second part. And then, of course, here's the base. And that's what's neat about the modular sets is you can actually go in um, and you can rearrange the people and you can see through. I mean, there's windows and the doors open up, you know, so you can set the setup however you want it. If you're doing a city or if you're just doing a display in a, uh, a bookshelf, I've seen it both ways. And you can see there's holes on the side and you put the, uh, the connectors in there. See, there's sticking on this side so you can put another uh, modular unit, um, however you're going to set up your city. So pretty cool comes with uh, one large base plate that it sits on so very secure um, so I've got it basically the way um, the person built it so it has a little kitchen inside you can see oh, something moving around that's right oh, well little garbage can from the back but uh, you can kind of see there's people sitting inside there's a kitchen with the guy with a turkey. So uh, there's a waiter. Uh, so there's more. There's four mini figures in the uh, the bottom set, but you can arrange it outside. Uh, as you can see, there's seating outside. Uh, in the back, there's actually a dumpster and a little scooter. So you can set these up any which way. Very cool. Um, I know you can buy light sets for them also. Put the garbage can back there's a little kitty cat sitting on the back by the trash can and of course there's a stairs that goes up to the second floor so here's the second set uh, second part of the build and this is like a little loft so it has a balcony um, so it can connect where they can uh, go to the side and go into the back door and it actually has a set of stairs that goes up to the third floor so there's one person in here and it looks like they've got a little kitchen uh, and they've got a, uh, if you can look inside there, it's hard to see, but there's a little fold up bed, like a little loft here, a little chair with a fireplace. So very, very cozy little um, setup here. So you can just put this on top of here. And also with a little restaurant, I think the person might be offended uh, if they live in that loft, but there's a, uh, an upstairs uh, little dinette area place where uh, the waiter can go up on the balcony if they wanted to sit. So I guess they have to share that. Uh, and then of course the very top section which is the roof and be surprised that actually you can open up the back. There's a big chimney on both sides here. Uh, but you open up the back, there's a little flip. And it's very cool because it's such a very tight space but it's an art gallery, uh, um, an art studio. It has some painting, a little paintbrush in there. So, as you can see, how it kind of goes around 360 degrees as you go up the back stairs, and that goes to the, the little apartment right there. And then if you go up the stairs again, then you can go to the um, little art studio. And they're real easy to take apart and put together. Um, it just has a couple little studs that connect and they just kind of sit on there and you just kind of push it together nothing real fancy and it's very sturdy this probably weighs uh maybe about 10 pounds seven and a half maybe you know between that and 10 pounds uh, not too heavy nice compact design very sturdy it's not going to fall apart i can hold it with one hand and it, as you can see that so modulars are very cool. Like I said, I don't get into the modulars, but um, had to strike uh, while the iron was hot. So the one question is, is, is what, what was the price on this? Person asked for $50, 50 US dollars. And I was just like, so the first thing I did was, is I had to go on the computer and I had to actually see um, what the original price was which I knew was more than that, and what the current value is. If I would go, um, you know, if I decide to flip this set and, and sell it locally, you know, what would the price be on that? Um, I, I just really like it. I think it's neat. Um, I mean, you, you can put something on either side if you have another modular set, or it could stand alone. You don't have to put another house on there. Okay, so very neat.
Um, very colorful. You got some greens in here for the brick. Very neat what they use uh, for the top here, uh, for the, the structure and the architectural design and stuff. And they're like little uh, croissants and little seashells. And it just adds the, the decor on the top. So the one thing I will have to do with this set is because it sat on the shelf, it was display for whoever had it, uh, it's dusty. So I'm probably going to have to take this down and probably just give it a wash and um, decide what I'm going to do with it then. But um, like I said, um, for, for $50, that was a great investment. Um, like I said, it came out in 2014. MSRP was $159.99 US dollars. And uh, that, that's not a bad price for this set. But wow. Um, have the box nice and clean. It looks like it came right off the shelf. The person that um, took it apart, it, they, they pulled a little bit on here, but not too bad. But I mean, there's no creases in the box. I would probably say this is about a 9.5, 9.6 .5, out of 10. Even the plastic bags that it came in for each modular, um, they're still inside which you don't usually find it. Usually people throw that away. I, I keep the bags with the set. I don't know why, I just, that's what I do. I keep the box, I keep everything with the set in case I decide uh, I'm going to um, pass it on to somebody else. Who knows? And this was another fine detail that I like is that they kept, you know, you have the brick separator and you just have the odds and ends little pieces that came with it that that doesn't normally happen this goes uh into your your bulk bin you know you take these pieces and you put them in your collection but like i said this person only had one uh, set so that's why it was and the manuals looked like they were like i said probably used just the one time to put this together very happy very happy with this set um great score and just the, like I said, the, the attention to detail is so cool. The little purple flowers up here, the little balcony, the little windows. Um, and when I get some time, like I said, I'm gonna uh, take it apart and give it a clean and decide what I'm gonna do with it. Okay? So uh, just, a quick, um, just a quick thing is that you can find bargains out there. You, it just takes a little time, takes a little work and you've got to pounce on that once that person is because i would say probably 50 percent of the time you are probably the second or third in line when you reply to that person i got lucky and i i picked it up within about an hour after the person responded to me person was real nice um you know and you try to create a friendship with the person because maybe they may not have uh any more sets but maybe their friend does maybe you know their their kid has grown up and they they find a bin in the garage or something like that so it was real nice um we you know had a nice conversation about lego and uh, the youtube channel and stuff like that so just real nice um i would say 10 out of 10 for um getting the item and the communication and all that so bam so here you go most of the time you'll find it's missing half the pieces or it's taken apart um, but here it is complete and ready to go ready to, like I said just kind of dusty I'm just gonna take it apart one extra step um, it did not not only been stored near a window or anything like that. The white is still nice and bright. It's not yellow. And you figure this set is 2014. Okay, so I'm going to put this back over here. Um, one way to find some quick information um, for the set is either BrickLink, and that'll give some of the general information that I gave you. Or another one, um, if you want to go a little more in depth, um, is BrickSet. And BrickSet actually kind of does what BrickLink does. They both have pros and cons to them. Um, but BrickSet will um, tell you 
also the values when it first came out and um, kind of current value used and new. Uh, it gives more dimensions. Uh, I think it has a little more. And it will give notes and it will tell you what uh, possibly set they connect with as like it shows on the box here. It shows other other sets and their numbers that were probably came out in the same time period and what they what would work you know, if you put them together. Unfortunately, um, if I look on here, 10222, uh, that is the uh, theater. Um, I had a bulk buy and the manual was in there. And I was all happy. I was like, oh, and I started going through the bulk buy and it was just the manual. So I don't have the pieces for it. Uh, that's quite a lot of pieces to try to uh, to make a unit up. So it's possible I'll put the manual online and sell that for somebody that maybe is missing it. But just just if you look at the back of the box, it shows all the scenes inside, you know, with the little mini figures and where they're sitting at and just a great set. So very happy with this. Okay, so once again, bricks in the wild, you can find them. They just take a little work, a little patience, and a lot of luck. Okay, so I'm going to sign off on that for today. Let's go to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, you enjoy this content or the video, please subscribe. Comments about what you saw today or any other videos, please com put the comments in the section below. I will respond to your comments or questions and be glad to help you in any which way um, with the information I have to help you on your quest for finding Lego sets. Please hit that thumbs up button, like what you see, let me know. And if you maybe seen this and you're not into modular, but you know somebody is, please share, okay, with other Lego maniacs and AFOLs. Okay, well that's gonna be it for today. Thank you for uh, checking uh, this video out. I, I hope it helps. I hope it gets you excited. Um, right now it's getting into the holiday season. So sometimes people are cleaning out their old Lego sets or closets to maybe possibly make a little cash to buy new Lego sets, or they're just making space for what may be coming in uh, for the holiday. Okay. All right. Well, this is Carl Brickologist coming to you from the Lego den. Once again, saving Lego from the past is saving Lego for the future. And until next time, be good.